Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to be doing the second training mission. We did the construction basics and now we've got the flight basics. So it's going to be a little bit harder, especially for a noob like me. But we'll go ahead and see how we'll get on. And then after this, we've got Orbiting 101 and To The Moon Part 1, which will be interesting. So, flight basics. Let's see. Learn the basics of flying a spacecraft in... Yeah. And show your flight instructor Gene Kerman will take you through the essential flight controls and instruments required to launch and a simple rocket to an almost respectable altitude. So let's go ahead and start. And hopefully, oh, it's a nice looking rocket. Hopefully, we'll come back in one piece. So let's see what Gene Kerman has to say. Welcome to the Kerbal's Space Center launch facility. I'm Gene. And I will teach you the basics of piloting a spacecraft. If you haven't yet done the vehicle assembly tutorial, yes, I think we did that, didn't we? Construction. Oh, yes, so let's go. Next, flying a spacecraft. Hey. Oh, hello. Sp flying a spacecraft is all about being in control of a generally very chaotic situation. As a pilot, your main flight controls will affect the pitch, vault, and yaw of the ship. Let's look at those first. All the controls will be locked until they're needed for this tutorial. Well, this tutorial is closed, so yeah. Pitch is the angle of the nose of the ship in relation to the horizon. A positive pitch, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Pitch down and pitch up, W and S keys. Try them now. I can see them moving up and down in the bottom left corner. So yeah, they work. Next, the yaw is a rotation left and right on the A and D. Again, moving in the bottom left corner. So yeah, that's working. Yeah, it'll turn the nose slightly right on there. Yeah, I get it, I get it, kind of. Roll is the rotation of the ship around its long, longitudinal, longitudinal. Yeah, did I say that right? I can't even read. I'm so dumb. Or front to back axis. It is the motion of leaning or banking to the left or right. The roll of your ship is controlled through these keys, Q and E. There we go, Q and E again on the roll. So yeah, try it now, let's go next. Uh -huh. By controlling pitch, your and roll together, you can keep the ship in a controlled level flight. Next, let's look at another basic flight control, the throttle. The throttle control affects the output of it. The throttle will only affect engines that can be throttled, like liquid engines. Solid boosters don't have any throttle control and will burn at top capacity until their fuel runs out. That's good to know. Holding the ship at full throttle over a long period of time can cause the engines to overheat and will eventually explode if that heat isn't managed. Throttle is controlled by the following keys. Left shift, up. Oh uh, yeah, I can see there. On my nav, on my nav ball thing, full throttle. And all the way down to the bottom. So next, throttle plus pitch, roll and yaw are the main controls you'll need to master for a successful crash-free flight. And that's what I'm not going to get. I know that. I'm going to die loads, no doubt. I don't be really losing all my equipment. Heavy ships will probably respond much more sluggishly to the controls than a little small one. It's also, it's also. Good to keep in mind that stages are separated from the ship, it will become lighter and therefore easier to control. Next, let's look at the rest of the flight controls. SAS, SAS stands for Stability Augmentation System. Although Kerbal astronauts usually refer to it as Sickness Avoidance Scheme. Yes, what does it do? It stops the ship from spinning around using a computer-controlled auto-torque drive compensator technology to counteract the rotation of the ship. And what key is that? SAS can be activated momentarily by holding down the F key. Alright. Or toggle by pressing the T key. Okay, there it is on my nav ball again. T, or just holding it in with F. Excellent. You can argue that, yeah, I've just done that. So the RCS, RCS stands for Reaction Control System. It consists of small thrusters that help control the ship's orientation and translation. The RCS can be activated by pressing the R key. And there we 
we go on the nav ball again in the top left of it yes I can see when it's activated thanks mind that for the RCS to do nothing your ship must have RCS thrusters and mono propellant tanks installed does this have them? I don't know I have no idea don't know what they look like so RCS is particularly useful when you're out in space as our aerodynamic, aerodynamic control services tend to not work very well outside the atmosphere so next staging which is this stuff here in flight yes space yes I know how to do the staging it's just space bar the nav ball is down there flight instruments on the upper part of the screen you have the altimeter the vertical speed and atmosphere gauges as the atmosphere altimeter and speed the altimeter will show the distance to the planet's surface at sea level this means the actual surface will maybe higher up yeah yeah and the crew these guys on the lower right hello guys we've got we've got bob jebediah and bill he's waving or scratching his head excuse me a hiccup it's generally a good idea to try and keep them alive throughout the flight yeah it would be a good idea wouldn't it they're not exactly ex expert astronauts neither am i or even much good at it neither have i actually they're not too bright neither am i for that matter so don't rely on them to be able to fly the ship without your help well we'll work together and we'll see how we get on ready to launch this concludes our flight tutorial hopefully by now you should know enough to be able to f pilot a spacecraft when you close this window all controls will be unlocked and you'll be clear to launch at any time you may press escape to pause the game yes i get that right hit space when ready to launch good luck good luck let's just set the throttle to max which is shift and finish tutorial and it's going to be space bar to lift off we know that and then the next staging will be to let go or to depart from that and then I'll just be the pod and then the final stage will be to release my parachute so here we go you ready three two one oh and we're off let's let go of a bit of throttle but it doesn't matter because here we go let's just turn it a little bit I'm not going to get anywhere but we're just trying to control it shall we do a spin let's do a spin yeah and let's do stage next stage and I think once that's out of the way we'll release our parachute soon probably about now because I don't know what height I need to be at so it's worked it's going to hit the floor first let's watch it explode this will open hopefully about 400 meters there we go 500 meters and that's going to go boom and oh, we can't even warp in this scenario nearly landing where we left off and we're gonna have three happy Kermans and nobody's died so it's all good a nice little training session for these guys and for me at least know how to take off and to control I'm sure I'm going to have some difficulties in the future though controlling. I already have when I've been playing it on normal career mode, which is what I'm going to be starting a series on. As soon as I've finished these tutorials. And there's a stand, that's where we took off. And here we go for the landing. Everybody survives. Hey, there we go. And everybody's alive. Let's just recover the vessel just to confirm that we are alive and that is that so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next part